It's been about a month since we recorded our last video. And let me tell you, we just went through the most harshest December ever. Crazy snowstorm, super cold conditions down to minus 12. But despite all that, we kept the job going. Whenever we could work outside, we did. Let's see what the month of December brought us. Check out this siding over here. The designer had intended to have a random pattern of party panels, so different exposure sizes. This creates kind of a nice modern look. You know, you can't really pinpoint exactly where the pattern started or stopped, but very crazy. It looks awesome. Then it ties into an area where there's hardy panels. So you see where it breaks off the random hardy siding, hardy panels. And you see this void right here. This is home of the future longboard, which will be also in a, in a random pattern. We'll check that when that's done. You see the back side of the house with all the siding and the panels going up. Similar to the sides, we have a random hardy siding pattern matching upstairs as well. We're using a Hardy 2.0 panel system here, where we have the wheels, using the easy trims. So we have a nice modern look reveals, no overlap, no J trims here, just a clean half inch reveal every time we have a board end. And to this side of the house, we see how the Hardy panels are so nicely placed. We, we talked about why we don't have penetrations on the side of the house. This is why I plan all the penetrations along the bottom. Have a look at these shrouds, all nice and evenly placed, hiding all the penetrations that are behind it. And look what we have, a nice, solid, clean looking wall. Don't have any penetrations whatsoever, except for this one kitchen hood fan, which is the most unavoidable item. But aside from that, look at this beautiful wall. So just before heading into the house, I wanna show you a couple more details. Check out the finished work on the windows, how the metal guys, they trim this window so nicely with sheet metal. Just ties it so nicely with the foundation, you know? When putting in a window, anytime you put a window inside a foundation level, it's very difficult to make it look good. But these guys did an amazing job. Just check out that finish. Let's check out the other side of the house where they sh the windows are also finished. So just before we go into the house, I just wanna show you the last detail on the outside. Just check out how this window ties in so nicely now. With all the siding on now, all the flashings in place, the windows are trimmed out with a nice fold of metal work. Just look how nicely this is presented. So last but not least, the laneway house. Let's see what progress we made there. We managed to get all the inspections passed just before Christmas. So we had the advantage of doing some drywall work during the Christmas break. Have a look. The boards are all installed. The seams all been taped. Have a look at this light fixture. This is the light fixture that I was talking about, this trimless. Look at the mud flange. These are installed after the drywall has been in place. And you mud around here, similar to the AC vents. And similar to the main house, the laneway house will also get the fry reglet ceiling treatment. You'll, you'll notice later on, we're gonna have two nice big rectangles here, separating the two areas, and it'll look nice and clean along with the lights and the AC trim, they will also be trimless. So in terms of sequencing, when building a laneway house and a house at the same time, you'll see at this stage that it's directly back to back with the activities for the main house. When those guys are finished their work, they're gonna flow all the activities into the laneway house and you'll see the same pace and the same kind of a finished look of this house falling tightly behind the main house.